Okay, everybody. So let's just talk about the skeletal system. And then the rest of this specific module discusses bone tissue. Okie dokes. So the skeletal system is composed of all of the bones of your body. So each and every bone is an organ. So the mandible, the ethmoid bone, the patella, each bone is an actual organ. And then cartilage is also part of the skeletal system. But this entire module and then the other chapter, which is joints, we're going to discuss bones, cartilages, we're going to discuss the components of joints. All of that together composes the skeletal system. Now, the skeletal system's function provides a framework for your body. That's really one of the primary functions, providing a framework. The long bones of your body, so your femur, your humerus, the forearm bones, those all act as leverage, levers to move your skeleton, to go around the planet, to run, to jump, to sit, to lie down, all of that movement that we can engage in. The movement is controlled by the muscular system. However, the muscular system acts on the skeleton so that you can move. Also, some of the bones don't act as levers at all. They're more protective in nature. That would be the cranium that protects your brain. The vertebral column protects the spinal cord. The pelvis protects the reproductive organs, the kidneys, the rib cage. Oh my goodness, that's very important. It protects your heart and your lungs. And so that's a really important function. Mineral storage is another function. We store calcium and phosphate in the bone. So when your body needs calcium, there's a hormonal feedback that results in the pulling of calcium from your bones if you need it. The other direction, if you have excess calcium, we can store that calcium in the bones. We'll talk about the specific cells involved with depositing calcium and pulling out calcium. In the spongy bone space, we have something called bone marrow, red bone marrow. And in that red bone marrow, we produce all of our blood cells. So blood cell formation is a function. And lastly, in the space inside of long bones, in the shaft of the bone, there's another kind of marrow called yellow marrow. And that is a high caloric fat, substance that we can use as energy if we are in a state of starvation. So let's proceed through these pages and talk about bone tissue, the cells, bone formation, compact versus spongy bone, the typical anatomy of a long bone. So let's progress through the rest of this module.